role of cardiac MRI in dilated cardiomyopathy myself dr b spandana co authors are dr manjuri m joshi and dr m kiran kumar dilated cardiomyopathy is characterized by dilatation of cardiac chambers coupled with impaired contractility resulting in systolic dysfunction left ventricle is always involved right ventricle may or may not be involved dcm is the most common type of cardiomyopathy clinical manifestations are orthopnea dyspnea syncope cardiac arrhythmias which may result in sudden cardiac death classification of dcm they are classified into primary dcm and secondary due to lv dysfunction primary dcm is due to primarily abnormality in the myocardium strong genetic inheritance autosomal dominant disorders diagnosis of exclusion and idiopathic dcm secondary lv uh, dilatation uh, is characterized again by ischemic and non ischemic non ischemic is primarily due to infiltrative cardiomyopathies like amyloidosis sarcoidosis post myocarditis drug induced peripartum and valvular heart diseases coming to the general morphological abnormalities dilatation of left ventricle is seen with increased end systolic volume and end diastolic volume right ventricle may also be dilated in few cases atrial dilatation can also be seen secondary to valvular regurgitation left ventricular wall thinning is seen in ischemic uh, dilated cardiomyopathy whereas wall thickness is maintained or uh, mildly reduced in non ischemic dcm functional abnormalities there will be decreased left ventricular contractility which is nothing but called hypokinesia resulting in uh, systolic dysfunction decreased stroke volume will be present ejection fraction and cardiac output thrombus formation may occur in uh, left ventricular apex due to decreased contractility and stasis late uh, gadolinium enhancement imaging hmm? it distinguishes ischemic from uh, non ischemic uh, dcm ischemic dcm uh, shows areas of uh, subendocardial enhancement with uh, varying degrees of uh, transmurality corresponding to specific vascular territory whereas non ischemic dcm shows some uh, mild myocardial or uh, epicardial or diffuse subendocardial enhancement not corresponding to any vascular territory as such uh, late uh, gadolinium enhancement patterns subepicardial or transmural uh, if it involves then it is ischemic dcm whereas no enhancement or subtle or mild myocardial enhancement that that can be due to drug induced peripartum alcoholic idiopathic um, mid myocardial or subepicardial uh, myocarditis or sarcoidosis happens in this one whereas uh, diffuse subendocardial uh, lg pattern is seen in amyloidosis Uh, now coming to the aims and objectives uh, to analyze the demographic profile of uh, dilated cardiomyopathy in a tertiary care center cardiac mri findings in various ischemic and uh, non ischemic dilated cardiomyopathies uh, distinguishing ischemic from non ischemic dcm and uh, differentiating various forms of uh, nidcm based on lg pattern risk stratification of sudden cardiac death based on late gadolinium enhancement and guiding the clinician in patient selection for icd implantation now materials and methods this is a prospective done uh, study done on 1.5 tesla mri in mnr medical college and hospital sangareddy over the span of last 2 years 28 cases of uh, dilated cardiomyopathy were analyzed uh, coming to the patient preparation detailed history is elicited from all the patients anthropometric measures measurements like height and weight are taken chest wall preparation is done by shaving off the hair and cleaning with spirit to reduce electrical impedance mr compatible electrocardiographic leads are placed in the anterior chest wall uh, before imaging and attached to the mr imaging unit for electrocardiographic gating respiratory gating device is also attached to monitor breath hold MRI protocol the following sequences were required in uh, evaluation of dilated cardiomyopathy GRE three plane uh, localizer frequency scout to detect optimal resonance frequency uh, steady state free precision cinematic two chamber four chamber short axis three chamber and uh, left ventricle route hold tract images were taken T2 stiff short axis images to detect uh, edema significantly and uh, we uh, when phase contrast sequence to determine the flow quantification was taken 
post contrast uh, gadobinate dimeglumine 0.1 millimoles per kg 5 ml per second is given first pass perfusion imaging dynamic imaging immediately after uh, contrast injection ti scout is taken to calculate the myocardial nulling time uh, lg psir sequence is done 8 minutes after contrast injection optional sequences like myocardial tagging grid sequence and high resolution psir is also being taken now coming to the sex distribution uh, 8 are uh, males uh, whereas 3 are females in case of ischemic dilated cardiomyopathy whereas non ischemic dilated cardiomyopathy 11 are males and th 6 are females coming to the age distribution ischemic dcm out of uh, 11 cases of ischemic dcm the median age is 58 idiopathic number of cases are 6 in the median age group of 40 years post myocarditis 4 cases in the age group of 39 alcoholic dcm 2 cases in the age group of 30 Duchenne's muscular dystrophy 1 case in the age group of 12 sarcoidosis 2 cases in the age group of 35 postpartum dcm 1 case in the age group of 25 and lvnc 1 case in the age group of 12 years now uh, ischemic uh, subendocardial to transmural enhancement is seen in uh, 11 cases idiopathic may there is no late gadolinium enhancement and that is six and alcoholic also there is one case with no lg and uh, there is one case with patchy mild mid myocardial enhancement and in myocarditis there is subepicardial and uh, mid myocardial involvement one case with subepicardial and uh, one more case with mid myocardial sarcoidosis is also, also like one case is with mid myocardial and one more case is with mid, mid myocardial and uh, transmural involvement is seen whereas in case of uh, postmortem and uh, postpartum and lvnc there is no uh, late gadolinium enhancement in each of their cases and there is uh, and there is also no late ga uh, late gadolinium enhancement in muscular dystrophy in one case now coming to our first case number one idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy it was diagnosed in uh, six cases it it was the most common type of uh, non-ischemic dcm encountered in our study this is a case of a 65 year old female patient presented with shortness of breath and atrial fibrillation cardiac mri showed dilated ventricular and uh, atrial chambers with moderately depressed lv and rv systolic function no evidence of any late gadolinium enhancement is noted you can see the ssfp two channel view showing dilated left ventricle and left atrium whereas this is a cinematic uh, four chambered view showing dilated both atria and ventricles and moderate global hypokinesia and uh, you can see the short axis imaging showing similar findings now this is the case number two which is alcoholic uh, dcm Alcoholic DCM was diagnosed in two cases. This is a case of 30 year old male, chronic alcoholic, presenting with uh, grade 3 SOB. Cardiac MRI showed severe global hypokinesia, dilated ventricular and uh, atrial chambers with severely depressed left ventricular and right ventricular systolic dysfunction, systolic function. Patchy mid myocardial late gadolinium enhancement of uh, left ventricle is seen. Left and right ventricular thrombi is noted. You can see the thrombi over here. Now, this is a steady state free precision two, chain, uh, two channel view showing dilated left atrium and left ventricle. High point and thrombus is seen in the left ventricular apex. Okay? Uh, this is a SSFP four, four chambered cinematic view showing severe global hypokinesia. And uh, these two images depict the PSIR. Uh, late gadolinium enhancement imaging showing mid myocardial enhancement in septum and uh, in the in the septum and in the lateral walls of uh, mid and basal third of the left ventricle now this is a case number 3 which is a case of post myocarditis dcm uh, it was diagnosed in four of our cases this is a case of uh, dcm in a patient with a history of viral myocarditis um, cardiac mri showed uh, global hypokinesia with moderate biventricular dilatation and uh, severely impaired left ventricular ejection fraction um, which is about 24 percent maybe intramyocardial pattern of late uh, gadolinium enhancement along the lateral wall in mid basal and apical third segments 
uh, SSFP image uh, short, short axis uh, showing dilatation of the left ventricle and this is SSFP four chambered view showing biventricular dilatation with global hypokinesia whereas these two sequences demonstrate uh, sub epicardial and uh, mid myocardial enhancement along the lateral wall in mid and basal third segments. This is a case of sarcoidosis uh, diagnosed with a 35 year old uh, male patient presenting with complete heart block, moderately dilated uh, left ventricle with no evidence of any regional wall motion abnormality and with preserved systolic function with uh, ejection fraction about uh, 60%, moderately dilated uh, right ventricle with uh, mildly depressed uh, right ventricle systolic function, biatrial dilatation noted, linear mid myocardial um, late gadolinium enhancement is seen in the inferior wall in mid third of left ventricle. Now this is a SSFP two channel um, two chambered view showing moderately dilated left ventricle and mildly dilated left atrium. Cinematic four chambered view showing biatrial and uh, ventricular dilatation, normal left ventricular systolic function and uh, mild right ventricular hypokinesia. These two sequences depict uh, PSIR short, short axis imaging, linear uh, mid myocardial late gas gadolinium enhancement is seen in the inferior wall in mid third of left ventricle. This is a case number five postpartum uh, DCM, 25 year old female presented with uh, dilated cardiomyopathy, three months postpartum. Um, cardiac MR showed a moderately dilated left ventricle with a severe left ventricular systolic dysfunction with ejection fraction of about being about 14%. Moderately dilated uh, left atrium and uh, moderate mild MR is also there and no evidence of any delayed contrast enhancement is seen as such. This is SSFP so showing a cinematic two chambered view and this is four chambered view showing dilated left ventricle, global left ventricular hypokinesia and a mitral regurgitation and short axis imaging showing similar findings. Now this is a case of Dutney's muscular dystrophies, 12 year old male patient who is a genetically proven uh, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. He presented with DCM. Uh, cardiac MR showed moderately dilated left ventricle with a severe left ventricle systolic dysfunction, LVF to be about uh, ejection fraction just to be about 20% and uh, moderate, my, moderate, to, uh, moderate MR, mitral regurgitation is present. Late gadolinium enhancement images show no significant uh, enhancement as such. Two chambered view, four chambered view showing dilated left ventricle, global left ventricular hypokinesia and mitral regurgitation and short axis image showing the same findings. Now coming to the summary and conclusion of it, cardiac MR has become the gold standard method for quantification of uh, cardiac volumes and uh, function in uh, dilated cardiomyopathy. Now cardiac MR uh, has an advantage, it is not limited by poor acoustic windows which can often uh, limit echocardiographic studies thereby enabling diagnosis of pathologies which are otherwise not readily recognized by echocardiography. Now it helps in differentiating ischemic from non-ischemic forms of DCM. It has also the ability to differentiate and diagnose various forms of NIDCM. The CINE SSFP image can accurately assess regional and uh, global biventricular function, ventricular volumes, ventricular mass and wall thickness. T2 weighted still sequence helps to detect uh, myocardial edema, suggest any active inflammation like in case of myocarditis. Uh, cardiac MR helps in risk stratification and uh, selection of patients for uh, ICD implantation based on the presence of plate gadolinium enhancement. Presence of uh, this has been, LGE has been a marker for increased uh, risk of uh, arrhythmias and sudden cardiac death. These are the differences for the same CT and MR of the whole body, HAGA and uh, uh, Granger and Allison diagnostic radiology, Danbert uh, radiology review, Lippincott, Williams and Wilkins and Radiopedia. Acknowledgements are, uh, I thank Dr. Yakshit. Uh, and our HOD ma'am, uh, Dr. Manjari M. Joshi and uh, Dr. M. Kiran Kumar. Thank you so much.